leadership is something of great passion of mine and you know when we think about leadership we can oftentimes kind of get carried away by thinking well yeah you know that applies in like the corporate world in the marketplace and many other areas which is true or in politics and things of that nature but we oftentimes tend to kind of neglect that leadership is also very important and very vital in the body of Christ in the church and no I'm not just talking about you know the senior pastor in church leaders and church staff I'm talking about all of us as individuals so today's uh, segment of King them leadership I wanted to talk to you guys about that your gift or your gifts will be known by others or will be discovered by others and there's one passage in uh, that uh, in the Old Testament it talks about uh, when King Saul he had a distress in spirit that was just totally tormenting him uh, because God allowed that to happen he was just like okay guys find me somebody you know who can play music whatever just you know who can just help me settle down and, th and etc so uh, it was recommended to him hey we know this one young man he's handsome a man of valor a man of war you know very credible individual very skillful in playing an instrument we can recommend him. He's like, hey, sure, you know, bring him over here. And eventually, we know as the story, that they begin to play the instrument, which obviously settled down and calmed down Saul until obviously at one point he got very angry, bitter at him, and just uh, cast the spear at him. You know, so the thought is this that uh, uh, for the gift of God that's in your particular life, in my particular life, uh, yes, we can do a very great job by containing it, by hiding it from others. That's very true. But if you are that individual that's submitting to the Holy Spirit, but if you're allowing uh, God to, if you're submitting to God's Word and you're allowing God to use you, believe me, that particular gift and calling that's in your life, it's not going to stay hidden. It's not going to be, you know, somewhere uh, where no one else will know about it. No, that gift that is in your personal life, it will become known to others. They will eventually see that whatever skill you have, whatever ability you have, uh, whatever knowledge you have, whatever experience you have. Like for an example, here I am uh, currently right now staying at a massive construction project. You can see, you know, a bulldozer behind me. You know, the, there's probably going to be most likely going to be a uh, huge subdivision they're building here. So there's different people of various skills, trades, and knowledge and understanding. And I Obviously, when you see somebody, you know, driving a tractor or pouring concrete or doing framing, you can, you know, you might, you don't need to have much knowledge about the construction industry, but you can tell when somebody really knows what they're doing. And uh, as they uh, perform well in that, obviously, that particular contractor or subcontractor uh, for a great quality job, they're going to get referrals, references, or, or they'll be hired again by the same general contractor. In like manner, I personally believe that the, those specific gifts and skills that God has given us, if we truly desire to serve God in His and build his kingdom just like you see you know this construction project taken here as we desire to build God's kingdom uh, that gift that's within us it's gonna become known to others it doesn't need to be known by the whole world but eventually as people start seeing you operating and functioning in your particular kingdom gift they're like hey yeah, yeah I remember Stan you know he's the one that is able to speak well or he's the one that's got those vlogging videos oh wow Stan you know he wrote a few books you know Stan is very passionate about the whole leadership subject you know let's maybe invite him to do a, a, a speaking session or to do a small group or whatever it may be you know your particular skill and gift that God has given you and if not this is a challenge for you to begin to discover and to understand it so as I wrap this up my friend you know I want to challenge you that uh, uh, allow the world as, as I like to also say to or to discover your kingdom gift your kingdom ability so you can be a blessing in your local church so you can be a blessing in your family so you can be a blessing at the work environment or the job that you work at or maybe in your business or in your community in your neighborhood or in whatever area or sphere of influence there you're in so you can be a kingdom leader and a kingdom ambassador all right my friend until next time